Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Good morning, everyone. Hello. How are you? Today is Thursday, January 26th. I hate to have to say this over and over again, but boy, is this time flying by fast. Today, what I have for you is um, cross stitches, a couple cross stitch kits from DP Clubs. They sent me these items for review. I'm going to share them with you in just a moment. But first, I'd like to give a big hello to all my new subscribers. A welcome to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you all are doing great, that everything is going good for you. You're making lots of crafts. I love it when you comment below and tell me what you're working on. Um, you got you all come up with, with um, things that you're making that inspire me to try something different. I was watching Stitching with Laura this morning. I got up super early before my husband went to work and I was drinking my coffee and I started to work on my cross stitch a little bit. So I put on one of her, her, her most recent video and um, she's now inspired me to do a sampler. So I'm now on the hunt for um, a sampler. I was thinking of going to 123 Stitch if you all know of any other good sources for uh, sampler patterns please let me know. Comment down below or send me an email. My email will be down there too. If you haven't checked out Stitching with Laura please go to her channel and check her out. Um, she's had this channel a long time and she posts videos every day. It's stitching, it's diamond painting and she does you know so many um, stitch with me's yeah that's it stitch with me sorry my mind went blank there for a minute so you know she just does her stitching or does her diamond painting and and just talks and I have just put her videos on and just sometimes when I'm sitting there stitching I'll just let them run one after another after another she's really good company so check her out if you haven't um, I'm doing great well I guess maybe not so great my, my I have a cat that's sick I spent yesterday at the vet all day with her he think she might have um, intestinal lymphoma so they've sent more blood off for testing and she hasn't eaten all week so she's hiding and I've got the door shut with some food in there and some water so please say a prayer keep your fingers crossed that she eats something and after yesterday and last night I thought this morning I wasn't going to make a video, but I thought I would just because it's a good distraction for me um, with what's going on with her. So I, um, yeah, it's just, it's it's not good. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of you that know what I'm talking about. So let's get going on this. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And if you like this video, please like it because that does make a big difference with YouTube. So let's get going. I like DP Clubs a lot, a lot. They are a budget-friendly shop. They sell diamond painting and cross-stitch. And what I like about their cross-stitch is they have it categorized uh, on their menu so that you can just search strictly for 11 count, 14 count, or 18 count canvases. I was really happy to see that these companies are now getting into the 18 count canvases because there are a lot of people that do like a higher count like that. Diamond Paintings Galore. They have massive, massive variety and a lot of uh, diamond painting crafts along with the tools and accessories for everything uh, for both crafts, cross stitch and diamond painting. They right now have a special where if you order over $39 you get free shipping but if you order at least a dollar, which you, I would be just, it's just crazy they put that on there. Um, you get 23% off your order automatically. So that's a lot, and that's a that's a good deal. So I've got two here today. Let's see what this is. This is a mandala. A mandala flower. It looks like a flower in the middle. This was about $6.99. It's not on the website right now. I think they're out of stock. It's 14 count, but they do have other mon... mon I can't talk, sorry. Mandalas that you can choose from. Uh, just do a search. This is a generic kit. There's no manufacturer to speak of. Let's check it out. Oh, 
Okay, so here's our floss. It's nice that we got a little toolkit here. Let's look and see what's inside. Okay, so they gave us a plastic bobbin, a seam ripper, which is always a bonus. I don't see these in many cross stitch kits. And then we have a threader and our little adjustable thimble, which I actually had to find one of these the other night and use it because I was getting just poked to death by my needle. I don't know why. And five needles in a little puffy ball. So wow, they really gave us a nice toolkit here compared to some of them that where we only get maybe a couple needles. This is nice, very nice. And as you order these kits, you get uh, quite a collection. And what I just noticed on this is this is not a stamped kit. So this is a little different than the normal that I show you of the stamped kits. This is going to be a counted kit. But what they've done here, and don't worry about over here this ink that will all wash out. They do have a border on it. Surged edges, which is excellent. And up here at the top, it just simply tells you that it's 14 count fabric and it's 40 by 40 centimeters. I'm gonna measure this real quick just to see what size it is in inches for you. So it's about 16 and a quarter by 16 and a quarter. So is that 40 centimeters? Let me look real quick, sorry. Yeah, it's actually 40 centimeters. So this is a, a true size for the actual piece of canvas. Then they give us a paper pattern and it doesn't have the QR code on it. But when we look at the paper pattern, it, this is a nice size one. It's easy to read. It's big. It's not, I, I would say that if you had a border, it's not quite as big as the actual canvas, but everything is very clearly printed. You know, sometimes I just don't pay attention on if something's counted or stamped because I just like the picture so much. So, um, I've been wanting to practice with one of these before I start my heaven and earth designs. So I think this might be a really pretty one to practice on. So these big areas here will tell you that that's color blocking. All the blue will be number 33. It does have some confetti, but it's not, it's not crazy confetti. We have our symbols over here on the side along with a picture. I'm going to bring this down. There, should make it easier to see. So we have a picture of the mandala up here. And then we have our symbols and our color chart. So there is 34 colors with this. That's a lot of colors. So that I think this should be beautiful when it's done. The thing about this too is that you see the background is all 27, which is white. You don't have to stitch this if you don't want to. If you just want to do the mandala itself and just leave it with this white background, which I think is going to get a lot wider once you rinse all this out, that would be really pretty too. Really pretty too. So let's take a look at the floss. I'm already loving the blue here. Okay, so we've got some big hanks of white because this is what they have on the pattern for this background. And then we've got a whole lot of blue, which is 3846. I absolutely love this color. They give us three, four, five, six. And this would be 3846. Let's find this on the pattern. So this is uh, number 33. So anywhere you see all these blues is where these blues will go. This blue will go. 
Let's check out the other colors. They just wind this round and round and round. Okay. Very nice floss. Looking to see if that was CXC, but it doesn't say. It's soft. All of this floss is extremely soft. Very, very soft. Very happy with this. For being a generic kit, I have to say this is a very nice kit. The floss organizer cards have everything marked as far as the numbers that you'll need, but there is no uh, product number on this. So what I would do is I would maybe write this number, the pro this is the product number, on the back of these cards in case these two get separated and in case you need to contact the seller if anything's wrong that you happen to come across. I mean, I don't know what could be, but there might be something you might need that number too to refer to. Beautiful fuchsias. Oranges, reds, yellows, greens, navy, some dark purple. And then on this side, oh, I love this. It's like, um, I'm not going to say it, maybe a super dark teal, green, gold. And we've got quite a few shades of green over here and some more, and yeah, some more pinks. This is going to be so pretty. Wow, this is a really, really nice set. A very nice kit. I'm impressed for being generic. You know, sometimes they're hit and miss, but you can always work with them. And for those of you that might be new to cross stitch, what I also am happy about with this kit is that it does give you directions on how to cross stitch, how to find the right color. You will only do um, full stitch on this, or full, yeah, a full X on this. There's no back stitching with this kit at all. I suppose you, if you really wanted to define the sections, you could do some back stitch on it. But it looks like in here, for instance, around those leaves, there's black. So they have a black border going on already. Yeah, because that red square is 310, so they already have kind of, in the pattern, outlined the sections. Yeah, you can see here. So, oh, I love this. It's a beautiful kit. Wish me luck with this counted. I've gotten so spoiled with stamped. So spoiled. And I really, really like stamped, but I have to broaden my horizons or I'm never going to get my Heaven and Earth Designs kit done. Okay, this one I thought was just so pretty. This is Windmill and Sunset. Now this looks like a Joy Sunday kit. I'll take it up to show you. It's got the logo up here, but it doesn't have the name, so it's not a Joy Sunday kit. This is 14 count, like the other one was 14 count. This is 42 by 30, so it's a little smaller. But boy, I saw that picture and I just fell in love with it. Let's take a look. On the back of this pouch, which is reclosable, great pouch you can use and keep for other things. Store your project in while you're working on it. You've got all your instructions here with instructions on how to soak it afterwards. And believe me, it comes out great. I've done it. It's easy to do. Then I just flatten it out on a towel to dry. So let's take a quick look at this. Okay, here's the picture without any glare, but isn't that pretty? Now, there is going to be a lot of backstitching on that windmill, but it's only that one little section. It's not the whole picture. So, we've got a beautiful pattern here. Wow, look at all the colors. There are 64 colors for this picture. And then we've got some French knots. You could always use seed beads, I suppose, if you wanted to. 
and then there's four backstitch colors. 64 colors in what I would consider a small picture. Very clearly printed. You can mark on this with a, a pen. I've done it. So I think all these little stars in the sky are all French knots. I think with uh, some super shiny seed beads, some white ones that are opaque, that would look really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, let's look at the canvas first. So for something that has 64 colors, this is little. This is really little. Let's take a quick measurement on it. So it's maybe 13 and 3 quarter inches by 9. 14 count, really little. I mean, yeah, it's got confetti, but it's not bad. I think I just want to start this one right away because I am so curious as to all those stars in the sky. So they have that notated with these green circles. So what do you think? So that you don't cover up the green circles with the X's, do you do the green circles first? Or you just cross stitch the whole thing and use this pattern to refer on where to put all these French knots. How would you do it? Please let me know down below in the comments because I've never really had a picture like this to do. I think this is just going to be absolutely stunning. I did start I, I did I did start a new one, the Great Wave of Kanagawa uh, over the weekend and it's 14 count and it's really really pretty I really love that picture and I was told myself okay this is the last one you're gonna start until you get some of these done but then I don't know you look at this and you just think hmm look at this picture how pretty is that how beautiful is that I'm really loving this so please let me know down below what your opinion would be on on these all these French knots everywhere for all the stars in the sky. How would you work it? I'm real curious because I, I want to do it right. I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way, but have you all ever had a picture like this before that had just so many French, French knots? So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you all have a great day. I will be talking to you soon, and I thank you so much for watching. Bye.